This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is probably the largest padlock I own, and that is this, the Multilock Model C16 with the shackle guard. I put a couple of locks next to it just so you can appreciate the size. We have a master lock number three over here. It looks like a little luggage lock compared to that. And even if you put it next to this, it's the Multilock Model NE14. H, the big lock, 14 millimeter shackle, still much, much bigger. This multi-lock C16 is, I think, 92 millimeters across. We have a 16 millimeter shackle, and it is a heavy, heavy lock. Now, this lock presents a couple unique challenges to picking. And it's not the Multilock Interactive Plus Core, which is obviously has its own challenges. And it's not the little dust guard down here guarding the keyway. But two things conspire to make this particularly difficult to pick, even more so than this NE14, which has the same core and the same access issues. The first is the fact that this C16 is incredibly heavy, meaning you know, just me holding this up in front of the camera is going to be a challenge during this pick. And the second is this core has a massive amount of spring tension on it. When you put everything together, the difficult core, the difficulty in holding this lock, the access issues, it really does make for a tricky little pick. So we're going to try to pick this guy open for you. And if we are successful, I will take it apart and show you what's inside. Okay, using a little Z bar there. And let's see what's the best way to do this. Okay, I think that works. How's, yeah, that works. Okay, let's start picking. One's loose, two's binding. Okay, got a big click out of two. That's our interactive chamber. Three. Okay, a little counter rotation on him. Okay, got him set. I'm sorry, I'm just working on outer pins now. I should have clarified that. Okay, four. Got a little click out of him. And five as well. Okay, pulling back to the beginning. Outer pin on one. Okay, got him set. Back to two, okay, definitely drop number two. Got him up, little movement on the core. Nothing on three, I'm looking at inner and outer pins right now. Nothing on four, nothing on five. Okay, I probably overset an inner pin, so I'm gonna release just a tiny bit of tension. Okay, I heard something drop down and I got a little bit more movement on the core. Nothing on one, nothing on two. Three, got my, got my pin stuck, where's four? Nothing on four or five. Okay, let me go back, see what I'm missing. Let me try releasing tension again. Okay, nothing fell down, so. Okay, one inner and outer, nothing there. Okay, two, inner pin, just got us some movement. So let me start looking for inner driver pins now. Two, okay, found one on three, nothing on four. Okay, found one on five. Back to one, nothing there. Two, actually, geez, I'm losing my tension. Okay, one. Two. Okay, there we go. Holy cow. I think I permanently hurt my wrist doing that. Okay, let's take this beast of a lock apart now. We're going to start off with a Phillips screwdriver to remove this shackle guard. We have two screws right on the top. Okay, let's put that aside. And now we need a slotted screw drive right there. And what I'm gonna do is back this screw up while just pushing on the side. And as soon as it's out enough, we'll know. 
Okay, there we go. Sliding to the side. Let's slowly take this out so we don't lose any pieces. And pull our tray up. Okay, we're going to take this spring out. There is our shutter. And now we have to just pull this, this core out. Now this is two separate pieces, the core and the Bible. They're not connected. There's actually a special tool that Multilock makes for gutting these. I do not have it, so this is going to be an absolute mess. But it's the only way I know to gut this thing. Okay, let's see what happens if we just... Okay, not too bad. Let's get these where they all belong. Okay, we didn't make too much of a mess with it. Those are all of our driver pins. We'll take a close look at them in a moment. Let's dump the key pins out. Just arranging everything right now so you'll be able to see what's inside of here. Okay, before I go too far, let me give you a close up of an interesting feature of these multi lock interactive pluses. And if you look on the inside of the key pen, which is what's in the tweezers right now. Come on, focus, there we go. You can see a small little slot of counter milling or undercutting, whatever you wanna call it. And then on the inner driver pin, you see a little bit of spooling. What that's designed to do is hook together. So when you put tension on the core, these pins actually lock together. It's probably the biggest challenge of these multi-lock interactive pluses. But, like anything else, once you spend enough time and once you learn the pins, they are certainly within your reach. Okay. Let's give you a close-up of everything we have here. Okay, on our pins. Let's first start with the key pins. You can see that all of our inner key pins are standard as are all of our outer key pins with the exception of number four that has a spooled top. Each of those outer key pins also has counter milling on the inside of them. That's meant to catch the spooling you see on each of the inner driver pins. And then the outer driver pins, we have four spools and one standard. Interesting note, you probably noticed number five is a two piece pin that's supposed to be an anti-bump measure put into place by Multilock. Not sure if it works or if bumping was ever an issue with these, but there it is nevertheless. Moving over to the core, we can see a couple of interesting features. First, you see some drill protection above and below the keyway. Right here, two hardened inserts. Then moving over, you can see the little pin in the bottom of chamber number two. That is the pin that lifts up the interactive element on the key and makes the whole system operate. Okay, so that's all I have for you on this Multilock model C16. If you have any questions or comments, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe, and as always, have a nice day. Thank you.